Welcome to Digital Toolbox. My name is Tam, and today we're going to create a plan view of a tree, usually using um, site plans or site analysis. In this definition, we'll learn how to use a circle button, an evaluation button, and a random generator. To get started, we're going to create a new definition, and we need to create the tree and the trunk. So, to do that, we're going to go to Curve, and we're going to go to Primitive, click on Circle. We're going to copy and paste this. We're going to go to Parameters and go to special and go then go to a number slider. So we needed to control the radius so we're going to edit this slider to instead of floating point integers and the upper limit 36 the value to be 8. I'm going to rename the slider to be tree radius in feet and I'm going to connect the tree radius to R and the R represents the radius and the P is the origin of the circle which is by default at the origin of your rhino plane. I'm going to copy this tree radius slider and paste it and I'm going to change it to trunk radius in inches and to convert this into inches we need to go to scalar and go to a one variable expression and then we're going to give it an x over 12 equation to convert into inches. The next thing we need to do is create branches and to get started with that we need to e grab points around the circle. So we're going to go to curve and go to analysis and then evaluate the length. When you connect C the curve into where the button is going to evaluate it and what this button does is everything that it takes any curve is under a unit of one so if we grab a number slider which is 0.25 by default and connect it to the L which is the length it says the points move from here to here which is a quarter of a turn which is 0.25 of one and if we push it to half 0.5 the point should move halfway around the circle so if we need random points around the circle it all needs to be from 0 to 1 so to get a random generator we're going to go to logic go to sets go to random R is the domain which is by default 0 to 1 and if we need to change that we'll grab a range button which is in the previous tutorial but for now 0 to 1 is perfect and we need a number of random values and the seed of random engine so I'm going to grab a slider and copy and paste it. I'm going to change this to number of branches. And I'm going to connect it to N. And then I'm going to copy and paste this. And change this name to just slider. Connect it to S. What S does is give us um, different variations of the points around the circle and if we grab the range of the numbers if we look at it it's all from 0 to 1 and randomly and then we're going to grab the R to L so it evaluates the length and we're going to delete this slider so now the number of branches and then we can grab the variations of the random genera generator so we need two of this, one for the, the tree and then one for the trunk. So we're going to copy and paste and we're going to connect the C to C. Since the range of numbers are constant between the two evaluation, evaluation buttons, they are exactly at the same points, just one is a smaller circle. So we need to connect these points, the outside points to the inside points but with a line. So we can go to curve and we go to primitive, we're going to go to line first point and second point. So I'm going to grab the outside points, connect it to the inside points. So now you have branches. So basically here we're done, but what I like to do is go to parameters, grab a curve, and we're not not circle, but a curve. I'm going to rename this into tree. And if you want to bake this as a grasshopper, it's a lot easier just to have one button that controls everything. So I'm going to connect the lines to tree. And to combine connections, we're going to press shift 
on the keyboard and then connect the circles to tree. And then we're going to unpreview the lines, the circles, and the, evaluate, the evaluated points. So now you just have the tree that you can bake into Rhino. So today we learned how to use a circle button, a evaluation button, and a random generator. In this definition you can control the tree's radius, the trunk's radius, the number of branches with the random generator, and the variations of branches. So there you have it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.